Sometimes PowerPoint slides just aren't enough to effectively convey your message, so you can use a tool like iSpring Presenter, a PowerPoint add-in which enhances the built-in PowerPoint features for video presentations. A video presentation combines slides and lecture video in a single interface to effectively deliver your message. iSpring provides two types of presentation player. The video lecture player shows slides and video side by side with an adjustable ratio between the two. The universal player offers a more customizable interface with a fixed ratio between slides and video, which can be swapped either manually or automatically. Later in this tutorial, you'll see how to choose and configure a player for your video presentation. First, let's see how to add a narrator video to your presentation. You can either record a video directly, or go to the narration editor for a more detailed overview of your audio and video narrations. If you have pre-recorded video, you can import it using this option, and then synchronize it with your slides using this option. Otherwise, you can record and sync video directly with this option. Once your video is on the timeline, you can also manually adjust the timing. All on-click animations will appear as yellow markers, and you can also adjust the duration of slides and transitions by clicking and dragging. If you like, you can select a video clip and fine-tune it with the iSpring Video Editor. Here you can easily trim the video, and apply advanced audio effects like noise removal and fading. When you're done, click Save and Close. To return to your presentation, click Save and Close again. When designing your slides, you should plan in advance how you would like to balance the visual information with the narrator video. There's no need to add a lot of complex information on a single slide since the narrator will be helping to explain the concepts. If you do have a slide which you'd like users to focus on, you can automatically configure the player to minimize the video and maximize the slide. Just click Presentation Explorer on the iSpring toolbar. Here you will see a bird's eye view of all the slides in your presentation. The Layout column offers you options for how you'd like to balance the visual information for each slide. The Full option will show slides and video side by side. In the video lecture player, they will be equally sized. The universal player will show the slide in the main area with the video in the upper corner. The no sidebar option will maximize the slide itself. The video lecture player will continue to show the minimized video and the universal player will not show the video at all, while the audio will continue to play. The maximized video option will maximize the video and minimize the slide. Here, the Universal player will continue to show the slide in the upper corner. If you select No Change, then the player will keep the layout from the previous slide. Using these different layouts throughout your video presentation, you can smoothly transition from important slide content to a more personalized narrator focus. When you're done configuring the layout, click Save and Close to return to your presentation. Now you're ready to select a player. Click Publish on the iSpring toolbar and choose a player from the drop down menu. Now click Customize to see more detailed options. The Universal player offers a built in template library to make customization fast and easy. The templates, which contain presenter video, are online lecture with video and full, but you can add lecture video to any of the other ones by going to the Layout section. Here you can choose all the features of your player, and also configure options for the top bar, bottom bar, and outline. From the Colors section you can choose a built-in color scheme and fine-tune each element yourself. The Text Labels section offers built-in language presets and allows you to change each message individually. Text labels and color schemes can be saved under Custom Presets. When you're done, click Apply and Close. Now let's look at the video lecture player. Once again, click Customize to access the detailed options. Here in the Commons section, you can choose whether to auto-hide the control panel and select the location of the video. You can also select which elements to display on the Title panel and Navigation panel. As with the Universal player, 
you can configure the color scheme and text labels for your player. When you're ready, click Apply and Close. Now it's time to publish your video presentation for the web. iSpring offers a range of options to fit any scenario. Note that the video option will publish your slides and audio, but the separate video narration will not be visible. Therefore, you should select a format which allows one of the player options. If you're using a third-party LMS, go to the Learning Course tab and select the format your LMS supports. Or you can enjoy direct one-click publishing to the simple yet powerful iSpring Learn LMS. If you don't need all the features of an LMS, you're welcome to use iSpring Cloud hosting and sharing platform. You can even publish your video presentation to a CD or DVD for distribution. If you have your own web hosting, select the web option. The HTML5 format is supported on virtually all devices and platforms, but some systems still require Flash for normal operation, so your safest choice is combined mode. Let's select HTML5 for fast publishing. Now click Publish to begin the publishing process. When the process is complete, the presentation preview window will open. Here you can see how it looks on different devices, open it in a browser, attach it to an email, or upload it to your website via FTP. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.